Good day everyone, so I'm playing on my friend's account, this is more or less what we've got available to us, so we can only use what we have, and I'm just going to use his builds without changing anything except slightly for Yale on giving her an energy recharge hand instead of um, an HP sands, and I'll explain sort of at the end why, but this will be the team that I'm using, all the 5 stars are at C0, um, the 4 stars and everyone else only have like um, 4 star weapons, so this is pretty much as F2P-ish as you can get in terms of power level and so on, um, but yeah, so let's see what we can do with Yan Fei, first time we've sort of shown her on the channel, so immediately we want to sort of open here, quickly uh, just hit the enemies, position herself here with Raiden, we just don't want to step out of a circle but hit the enemies, as you can see there the ping for some reason being very very high, I don't know what's happening over in Europe but um, that's just unlucky but hey, uh, it sort of happens, uh, here is our Yanfei again, uh, perfectly timed for rotation, now we can just hit the enemies as well, uh, Shingshu, just smack them, smack them, and as you can see pretty pretty stock standard stuff here, nothing too big and so on, uh, for an F2P account not too bad and also considering we do not, we're not using any Animo unit, no Sucrose, Kazuha or Venti whatsoever, so we cleared out most of the mobs and now we're going to sort of start breaking down or hitting the enemies and you'll see here something very very unfortunate happened but that's just sort of how life rolls so here we are we sort of broke all the shields as far as we can hitting all the enemies and now it's time to smack them with Raiden Shogun and we're hitting air I've got no idea why Raiden decided to hit I don't know literal oxygen but that is an unfortunate thing we lost out quite a bit of damage we could have already finished uh, we would have killed the hillichuls and so on but other than that for an f2p account this is a pretty a stock standard sort of run, there's nothing amazing here, uh, but this is sort of how you'd use Yanfei, and she was quite a bit of fun, or something just a bit different to sort of use and so on. Um, I kind of sort of like it. And here is the Kokomi Kazuha sort of thing, so we first want to group up all the enemies, hit them, activate Yellow's Elemental Burst, quickly just knock them off their feet, uh, get a little, um, what do you call it, um, jellyfish on the field, which is a mistake because I could have just uh, probably used um, Yellon, but that's okay. Um, mistakes are made, these runs are not optimal, I should have just do them uh, one or two takes and then that's about it. Obviously the ping as well is absolutely killing me so uh, you'll see some of the reactions and stuff is slightly delayed. Uh, here's the cool thing, we just sort of swirl here with Kazuha, uh, try and remove the enemies, both of them are literally standing still, it is so cool. Um, and now you can see that VV straight definitely hitting really really hard. Um, do remember that Iacus Elemental Burst snapshot, so that is only the VV straight that you can see in terms of the damage that's being done. And yeah, now we're just using Kokomi to just slightly chip away at the health and then Yelon to take them both out at the same time. Kind of very very cool. So, let's go on to the next floor, this is one of the uh, hyper annoying bosses, so you all know the little ice cube, it's annoying because it's sometimes really RNG as to what it will do, so this is where I often just sort of I want to reset, and when I normally see this I just reset, but for this run I decide, you know what, it is what it is, we can't change it, so let's just try and keep it, let's just see what happens if you don't have good RNG. Um, so the strategy is kind of simple, Bennett, Shingshu, and then just try and smack with Raiden. Obviously did not get the crit, which is so, so unlucky, otherwise we could have done it like really, really fast. So this is the thing about my sort of playstyle in Genshin Impact, I definitely try to do things um, without resetting over and over, because I do feel if you're at a point of trying to reset just to get that extra little bit of a crit, it's kind of pointless, because you want something that is consistent, so if you had to play this a thousand times over, you'd want at least decent results for most of those thousand iterations. Um, that is kind of my playstyle. Uh, here we're using a very sort of um, rare instance of Bennett's Hold E, um, just to sort of break a bit more, like apply a bit more pyro, and yeah, it really really paid off, so a bit of little Bennett tech that you could use if you're using him on the first half, and there we go, just sort of taking it up. Thank you, Ikari. We're glad you <laughs> ate well. Uh, yeah, that's just my virtual assistant, so <laughs> Ikari. All right, so here what we want to do is, unfortunately, the enemies spread out, which is unlucky, but luckily the Ruined Sentinel um, sort of follows you, so you just stick to one of the other ones, freeze them in place, and then it's just as easy as using Ayaka and just taking them out. 
uh, very very easy you don't have to worry about um, dying because well Kokomi is in the team uh, he is Yelon and as you can see here that 160 energy recharge oh, I haven't shown it yet but 160, 160 energy recharge on Yelon definitely r being really really helpful yes we do lose out on quite a bit of damage but the comfort and the ease of just sort of um, having her um, elemental burst online is is way way more important and so what we're now going to do is just the usual quickly swallow you of Kazuha and there we go and now we're just going to wait for the enemies to sort of group up to where we are and get our Ayaka elemental burst ready and just going to see we're just going to wait slightly can we get that other little the ruined serpent thing to come up yes we have and there we go we can freeze all of them so this is the key thing sometimes you don't want to play too too fast because if I because if I just immediately popped Ayaka's Elemental Burst according to the rotation that you're supposed to play according to Fury Crafters, I would not have hit that other Ruined Serpent and it would have taken a lot longer. So sometimes just a bit of practical game sense goes quite a long way. And as you can see, we've got more than enough time and we'll just do a bit of a quick little Kazuha. So, the third floor. This is where things get funky I had to obviously restart because of bad RNG with that ruined serpent but this is just sort of how it's gonna go the first half is not too difficult uh, you've got to be extremely quick though um, as you can see I'm animation cancelling as fast as I can and it's not helping that we've got such high ping and so on but luckily we got a bit of a crit here on Raiden so it's okay but um, generally speaking even if you're frozen like this you should have your Bennett and once you've got Bennett's elemental burst look these guys can't freeze you because he applies pyro to you every second so uh, that is kind of very very nice another sort of situation where we're using Bennett not just for his elemental burst but for the extra utilities and stuff that he provides and now we're just gonna smack him uh, here's again Ryan Shogun unfortunately she got the slowing waters but that's okay and of course now let's just sort of end it off with Yanfei I don't know what you can see there I uh, like the absolute ping just sort of <laughs> I'm not playing along with me um, but uh, well uh, these things sort of happen I it's, it's just how my directional inputs work so we quickly want to uh, swirl the um, hydro here and then we want to quickly go into Ayaka once again 14,000 now it will be 19,000 and here is Kokomi and Yelon so if the ruined serpent tries to go underground I normally just reset here I want this sort of play pattern because if we don't get him to close to like half and so on um, at this stage then it becomes very very difficult to sort of take him out but yeah, there he is. We just gonna sort of try and get as many particles uh, for the next rotation because it's absolutely there's no point in setting up now. He's just gonna dodge and be like really really annoying. Um, and luckily he didn't do his whole um, ground thing where he swirls and um, what, what do you call it where he does little he burrows and then you he hits you constantly. It's it's really really annoying. Um, yeah, so he's here. Coco jellyfish, a uh, little bit of a swirl, yellow elemental burst. And now we're going to use Kazuo. I found that if you use Kazuo as elemental burst here for some reason, it's more consistent in trying to disable him. Um, it's very, I still haven't, haven't figured out like how to disable him properly, but this seems to sort of work. And now we can get the bulk of that damage in, try and get Yelon um, up to speed and just quickly build as much energy as we can for Ayaka. And then we have one last sort of rotation to use and then sort of take care of him. <laughs> you can see a little Yelon running, uh, doing some parkour wall running. It's really, really awesome. And this is just going to be just wait for him to sort of come online. And we're going to smack him with Ayaka. And then obviously Kokomi and Yelon taking care of him. So yeah, guys, that's been it for this run. You can definitely do it as an F2P. I think there was still more than enough time on the clock. I did it in my previous video as well uh, using Shadow's account. So there's definitely a lot uh, that you guys can use a bit of tip tips and tricks um, from an F2P perspective and just as a final note you'll see here that my uh, that the yellow I used had an energy recharge sense I did, I'm, did swap it back shadow so it is HP but um, if you just have 111 energy you just it's just not good so uh, with the stats that you've got uh, energy recharge sense not too bad thanks for watching everyone cheers